Steve, well, you've just finished your big sports speaker event and um, I know a number of people there were fascinated by what you had to say and your tales of, of business. Tell me some of the key things that you've learned over the last 20, 30 years in business. Well, I think the first thing is always put your, your clients first um, and uh, your business second and then yourself individually third because uh, you, you've got nothing if you haven't got uh, clients um, that, that makes your business and then obviously the business looks after you financially in the longer term. Um, I'm very adverse to taking on debt um, and uh, that's something that uh, Hargis Lanza, I'm pleased to say over the years, has managed to avoid. It's, it's, it's paid for everything as it's gone. So what I'm trying to generate here. I know people will look at the uh, the balance sheet here and say, well, there's debt on it, but that debt is money that I put forward. It's owed to me, so it's, under, it's very much under control. So it, it doesn't put the clubs at risk. You've talked about uh, that sort of sustainability, I guess, isn't it, is, is what it comes down to. And that's the point about building something like Ashton Gate Stadium. It is, and uh, you, you know, it, I also mentioned in the, in the, in the question and answers the fact that, you know, as as our business grew in the years gone by, it's usually corresponded with us moving offices and getting into bigger spaces, and I think that's what we're going to, you know, that's, that's the aim here with the, the, the new stadium here, twenty seven thousand. You know, it's a big task to fill twenty seven thousand. You know, that's our that's our challenge. Um, everybody gets excited by here, want to be part of the the, the the new setup, and from a business point of view, it attracts more businesses in to help us you know, develop sport in Bristol. You talk about challenge, of course, two of our major sports clubs, the football side and rugby side, uh, are enduring their own challenges at the moment. But through a business career that you've had, you've lived through many challenges, not least the 87 sort of stock market crisis. And, and you had an interesting anecdote about that, about not hiding. Yes, no, I mean, I always remember, the, the, if you like, the first crisis that I experienced, which was in 1987, which was ret- returned as Black Monday. And uh, I remember a client of mine actually phoning me over, Mr Pierce, um, and he... First of all, he was delighted that he could get through on the phone because a lot of people just cut their phones off because they didn't want to speak to people. And uh, he said, uh, he said, I'm surprised to get you. I thought you'd be jumping off the suspension bridge. And I said, well, because they had to pay tolls. And I said, I couldn't afford the toll. <laughs> um, but he just wanted, you know, he, he said, tell me a joke or something. I just wanted cheering up. And, and then the fact is that we were there to talk to him and reassure him and, 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 and know that he wasn't alone. And that's, that's, that's really what business is about. It's, it's being, you know, having that empathy with your clients and, uh, and making sure you're looking after them and, and being available when they need you, which is when times are tough normally. Mm. One of the things about the Lansdowne Club is about inspiring business through sport. You've managed to combine both of those interests very nicely. What would you say to people that are thinking about joining the Lansdowne Club and also what is actually going on here at the stadium? Well, first of all, I think from a business point of view, this is a great networking arrangement. You know, it brings you in, into into a place where uh, it, it, it's, it's designed really to uh, to encourage people to, to get together. You meet people from all sorts of different businesses, pick up different ideas, uh, and that's that's always good in business. You're always, you're always looking for opportunities, uh, well, ideas and opportunities to to develop. Um, but I think the big thing is if anybody's got an interest in sport, and it's not just sport, but it's, it's in, in life as a whole, you know, healthier lifestyles getting better education for the children etc etc sport helps do that and uh, you know as a business everybody wants to put something back into society and and through sport you can do that and the Lansdowne club helps you you know put, pulls people together matches sports and situations together with businesses uh, whether it's cash whether it's mentoring whatever it may be it, it helps you know it helps by everybody working together